Hi guys and welcome to your weekly general reading. So this reading is from October 8th to the 14th and I'll just quickly do a message as if you're watching my tarot readings from last week. I've started doing angel card answer readings. So this is on my Instagram at tiny.langshaw. I'll have it in the description below and also on this video. So you can DM me on Instagram one question and I'll answer with an angel answer card for $5. So which is really awesome. I'm really excited about this new little adventure I'm doing on there. So if you are interested in those one card answer, um, angel card readings, just go onto my Instagram and just DM me and I can answer your question. I do the payment through PayPal as well, easy, just through a link, which is super exciting. But yes, now I get back to the reading. So, very interesting what happened. As you can see, we've got a line of cards here. So, all these cards fell out of my deck. They literally, like, when I was shuffling, they were just, like, falling out of the deck. So, obviously, they really wanted these cards to be out. And what I got from them, which is just, it's fascinating what they're doing this week, really. It's actually just an, it's not just the traditional meanings of the cards, it's actually more to do with the numbers this week. So we've got seven cards laying out here and the number seven is, you know, it's quite a lucky number, but also it's actually just to calm everybody down because a word I got when I was just tuning in there said if you want to actually do one word for this upcoming week, what would you want that message to be for them? And it was just trust. And the number seven means you're on the right path. So I've been really noticing it with the energy even in this week with people I've been talking to. A lot of people, um, they're very worried and they're getting a bit antsy in the energy that they're in right now. And it's just, I feel like people are trying to find answers and they're trying to find out if what they're doing is right. So if you're questioning that right now, it's literally you are on the right path because we got three fives here in this deck and it's not generally just to do with the meanings of these actual cards it's, as the number five which um, actually means which is fascinating it's um, spiritual evolution so it's your spiritual journey so the journey that you're on right now is all for your spiritual evolution so if you're going through obstacles right now if you're going through delays or anything if you're going through anything that's making you feel fed up you are frustrated you really want to be somewhere right now like you're experiencing delays as this page of air card here is stating which um, is upcoming for this week it's meant to be for your spiritual evolution so it's the lessons you're learning from this there's something right now that you're learning that is really going to have an impact in your future so don't think like everything's just going wrong everything everything I am trying to do is just not working you know I feel like you know what's going on like am I on the wrong path am I on the wrong path am I not where I'm meant to be right now no this is lessons what we're going through right now is lessons that are essential for our growth so if anybody's questioning anything it's just trust just trust just stick with it keep going this is a lesson right now don't panic don't Feel fear. Don't let fear govern your decisions. Don't react, which is what we actually got last week as well. It's really don't get into your ego. Don't get into that fear mindset and just react to everything because when you start reacting, what are you going to get back with the egoistic, egotistical energy you're going to be getting? You're not going to be getting good energy back and that will affect what's happening around you right now. So feel like it's a lot to do with balancing your mind and your body and balancing your energies right now to handle what you're going through because you know it's like the old saying I don't it's not the words I like to use but it's just like whatever does whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger so what you're going through right now is strength building this is like your reps you're doing in a gym you're building the muscles right now you're building yourself up right now in this next spiritual evolution because we are really this is this is what everything's to do with. Everything is to do with your spiritual evolution. This is just for the really big message for this week. And that's why they've got seven cards here in this angel card tarot deck is just to tell you guys you're on the right path. Like, it's like, we're sorry. Like, you know, you have to go through some lessons right now, but you know, it's with love. <laughs> so don't think it's coming from like, we don't like you. It's like, no, we love you. This is lessons you need. And you're going to be thanking us one day. You're going to see this within six months, a year, two years down the track. You are going to go, oh, Thank God I went through that. So there's a really big message with that. And that's why we've got the four or five here. The four or five is just saying, it's just like another message there. Like you are on the right path. Like this is fine. This is okay. This is fine. But it is, this is more to do with relationships. The queen of water here is, but like it could be with people around you. It could be building a strong relationship, which could connect with, because there's two 
I would say stories here, which how it could um, be for you guys since it's a general reading. This could be the relationship with the contract you're about to sign. So this could be your new job, a sale of a home. It could be you're going and getting a loan out, or it could be just a contract of some sort. It's something that's not a casual agreement. This is binding. This is I need your signature. So there's some sort of contract coming your way with this, and this could be the relationship you're developing to a new level with the person you sign the contract with or regarding your spiritual journey and your evolution and everything it could be just a relationship with yourself and i know i have been saying this for a while now but i feel like we're going like this we're rising right now and we're taking big leaps like it may not feel like it but we're taking big leaps within our spiritual selves you may not see everything in your external world yet but the leaps you're making with yourself like well done like seriously you're doing amazing like the leaps that you've made in the last six months alone it's just like wow look at yourself six months ago seriously look at the decisions you're making look at like the person like who you were back then and how you reacted to things back then, how you're reacting to things now. Things may still be triggering you, but you're getting better at switching out of it and going, no, I'm not going to ego. I'm going to be calm within myself, logical decisions. Do I need to react right now? Do I need to step up right now? Or is this a time to stand down? So let's really look back at that because you guys have done an amazing work with that. And oh, we're upside down. Well, did I hold that card upside down? I apologize. Um, with this the page of oh maybe that could signify actually relationship ending too okay we'll go with that yeah we'll go with that because i did hold it upside down so i find that fascinating i think there's a little signs there could be a relationship ending in your life right now too it's not the relationship with yourself because you can't end the relationship with yourself but there could be something ending with a long-term relationship and it's not necessarily with a partner but it could be a job it could be um, where you're living. It's, you know, moving house. It's the same thing with the contract because we've got the Ten of Earth here. So there is an ending of some sort. So I feel like since this is a relationship card, I feel like there could be an ending within a, um, with a relationship with you guys. It could be even a relationship with a bad habit you've had. And that's, um, and I feel like that's actually more to do with your mindset. And also, actually, no, it is with you. It's the old you. That could be it too. So I'm saying a few things that are coming to me right now because this is a general reading. I want to give information that if, like you know, helps as many people as possible. You could be ending the relationship with the old you. You could be tying, um, you could be stopping the door on something within yourself that you used to do that didn't serve anymore and it's just like, I'm not being that person anymore. I'm done. I'm rising to the next level. This is to do with my spiritual evolution. We've got three fives here. This is to do with my spiritual journey where I'm going right now, the old me is not going to serve in this new world I want to build, I'm going to have to stop it. I'm going to have to end that relationship and actually build upon myself because this is a building time. We really are building right now. So it could be ending the, um, the relationship with the old with you. It could be externally, it could be somebody else, or it could be just, you know, as I said before, um, it could be like you're leaving a home, you're leaving country, you're traveling somewhere else, you're ending, there's an ending. We've got the 10 here, there's an ending. And it's going to bring abundance it's going to bring abundance with you ending that but the also um we are going to receive something as well but it's a good thing and it could be the contract it could be the contract we're receiving but there could be something within this contract that's there's a little delay in it there's something there's something needs to be fixed and i've got this a while ago too so this could be coming a little bit later for you guys as these general readings can last a few weeks they can last a few months because it depends what energy you're in for yourself if you're still in this energy of this reading if that makes sense so with the contract there's some sort of delay there is something in this contract that you're doing if this is for you the general reading um there's just something in it that needs to be revised as with the seven of air there is some sort of delay in it there's something in there that's not quite right for you so that's just a little warning for you guys there's something in a bit of a delay because we did receive it we received the contract like there's like the page card as i said before page is you know it's like a turning of a book in a chapter it's a new chapter it's something that's going to change everything afterwards you're not going to be the same again it's another ending in a way in this in this um new beginning that you're doing but there is something in it that's not quite um right that's going to cause a delay it's going to delay it what's not right within it but with the um because you know of course i've got a fallen card here with the ugh, come on so rest and rejuvenation so this is to do with the energy so as well as you know the contract card because it's definitely going to bring some energy when that comes in 
Um, with this, with everything that's going on, don't forget to take care of yourself, meditation, sleep. Are you sleeping? Are you being healthy? That's the thing. That's also something with the five, number five as well. It's to do with your health and well-being. Take care of you. I've gotten this, um, I think it was even last week, I got the nutrition card or the week before. Really look after your health, guys. We keep getting this message because in our spiritual evolution, maybe we're forgetting about our own health ourselves. Like we may be working on ourselves spiritually, but maybe we're not feeding our physical bodies enough. Maybe we're not getting the right nutrients in our bodies, the right vitamins. So really, guys, take care of your health. It's so important. It serves you spiritually. It serves you physically as well. You need it. It is your fuel to keep on going with these changes. You are going through so many changes right now. You need to keep feeding yourself, whether that's through food or that's through the energy you need to actually um, get from around you. Is the energy good around you that you can actually... Because I know this, when you're surrounded by really positive, upbeat, uplifting people, you just suck up the energy. It's not like you're stealing their energy. It's just the energy that emanate and it lifts your own. So are you lifting your energy? Are you replenishing your energy through meditations or around the people, the people you're around? So really, it's feeding. It's like, are you feeding yourself right now? Are you feeding yourself spiritually, physically? Like, it's just, it's so important, guys, to do this. So it's, we've been getting this for a while. So that's something we really need to take note of. And with the um, practice card as well, and I'm going to read it with the life, um, oh, come on, purpose, because I think this is also to do with um, the bottom card. So with the practice, it could be actually practicing your health, <laughs> it could be to do with that, but also just could be your spiritual practices, like with your spiritual evolution that you're going through, you really need to get some practices that serve that and that keep you level, because since we're rising so fast at the moment, there's so much going on with us at the moment, we really need to keep with those methods that keep us level, that keep us fed, spiritually, physically, that keep us going. So that's very um, important there. And talking to your angels, since we're going through this whole big spiritual thing at the moment, because um, we are, we were feeling, I could tell with the way this reading was going, we're worried, we're panicking because we're going through so many challenges right now. We don't know if we're on the right path. Talk to them. Speaking out loud as well, especially just in your own sacred space, whatever that is for you, they do listen. Because I had an experience today because I didn't have a very good morning. I'll be very quick about this, but it was I was feeling pretty bad. I was like, oh my god, I've got no energy. I'm doing all the stuff I'm normally doing and it's not working. And I just said to them, please, I just need something good to happen today. I just need something. Can something good just please just happen to me today? You know, to you know, rejig my faith. And I got an audition. Very impromptu audition, won't go into how it happened, but I got an audition for a commercial, which is like, how does that happen? <laughs> it just like literally fell in my lap the way it happened. I had some other really good things happen today as well, but it's just, I feel so good right now. But what I'm saying is, if you speak out loud, if you do ask them, like ask them your question. I know it's hard because when it's very close to your heart, you don't want to get emotional about it because half the time when you speak it out loud, sometimes you do get emotional and that is fine. That is absolutely fine. You need to release that. You need to talk to them. You need to talk to them about what you're going through, what your questions are, or anything like that, because they do give you guidance. Trust me, they, they answer you. They answer me today, straight away today. I had so many consistent things happening to me they, today that just lifted my energy, lifted my energy, lifted my energy, and then I got an audition. So please, please, please do that. But just to remind yourselves also, oh, yeah, because I don't normally read the bottom card of the um, energy deck, but this actually was very interesting with the thinking man here, because I think with this contract whatever this legal document is for you, I feel like it comes from a man. So that's just all I'll say about that one, but I feel like it's a male energy around that. Very logical, very calm, very strong. He knows what he wants, he knows what he's doing, and he's not, no bullshit, no bullshit with this guy. But yeah, definitely a very strong male energy around that. And But basically, remember for this week, just trust. That's the word I got at the start of this reading is trust. Trust them. This is just his spiritual evolution. Don't panic. Don't worry. These are lessons that you need to learn that are going to impact your future. You need these lessons. So just remember that. Look after your health, guys. Look after your health. I mean, keep getting this message at the moment. Look after it. So I hope this reading has helped you guys. And if you want to, um, you know, get notifications for my readings, you know, straight away when they come up, just please subscribe to my channel and also share them around so other people can see them too. Like and comment below if you want to. And also just um, my angel answer card readings. If you want to do that, DM me at, at tiny.langshaw and I can answer those for you too. They're really, really cool. One questions. 
And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for just supporting me on my channel. I'm just loving to seeing the interaction at the moment, getting some nice little comments and stuff, which is really cool. So thank you so much, guys. And thank you for watching this video.